Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. My name is Jim McConnell. As many of you know, I was state representative for the past four years. I have sent all of you a copy of an op-ed that I put into the Concord Monitor shortly after the Parkland incident. I made it very clear in my op-ed, I hope, that uh, this bill is a very bad idea, that real security in a school <coughs> consists of ensuring that there are those that nobody knows is armed in that school. And that's the only real security you've got. And it's not necessary that everybody be required to own a firearm. It's simply the fact that if someone comes in there and wants to shoot the place up, he's not going to know who is going to oppose him. It may be me, you, or the next guy. Or that 85-pound school nurse down the hall. Who knows? It doesn't really matter as long as somebody's in there. The fact is that I see this bill as a tremendous disservice not, only, disservice not only to all of the children in the state, but also the members of the staffs of each of these schools. I'd also point out that in hearings, in the hearing before the uh, uh, Education Committee, the Association of School Boards came out in opposition to this bill. They didn't do it because of the window dressing that might be obtained from a couple of amendments. It's the whole idea that they didn't like, and they made that pretty clear. I'm hoping there's someone behind me from the Association of School Boards who's going to expand on that, but for the moment, that was their testimony at the time. In any event, I'm strongly opposed to this bill. I hope that you will ITL it. Uh, I think the bill, beyond uh, ignoring the constitutional rights that all of us should enjoy, uh, is a very bad bill in terms of safety, and uh, so it's absolutely not a good idea. We have none of these incidents in New Hampshire for a reason. I wouldn't like to see us do away with that. Thanks, Chairman. I'm happy to answer questions. Thank you, Chairman. Now, Representative Boardman. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. <coughs> um, I agree with what you said. I, I also retired from teaching, and I, nobody knew, but I always had a gun locked in my desk. I was married to a Marine for 40 years. He was gone all the time. I always had a gun. I knew where it was. I never had to use it, but you know what? I knew how to use it. We were always locked up. And I felt confident. And do you think that I would lose my gun if I was still teaching and had my gun and nobody knew about it in my desk? Well, I hope you wouldn't. Good morning, Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, it's just a point of order. Yeah. I'm wondering if we are going to have a recess for lunch today. No, I will I, I address that. <laughs> no. I, I, what, given the, the, the people, what I intend to do is to not recess. Okay, thank you. Um, what I will do at noontime, though, is I'm going to temporarily recess this and open the hearing on House Bill 630, which was the 1130 bill. Take a quick testimony. I don't think, I don't see many cards looking that that has much interest. Then we'll resume that members of the committee can go and join everyone. But if, if, if you have hunger needs or other needs, please go and, and, and take care of that. But let's try to also maintain a critical mass here. And then we'll go back in, we'll go back into this hearing and. It, 125. Uh, the this will recess so that we can take up. If we're not if we're not done by 125, uh, we'll we'll go back to the other bill. Thank you. Does that does that make sense? Like to the committee on that. Yeah. Representative Burton. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Oh. Thank you for your testimony. Oh. I was asking. But I thought he was done. I was going to. Do you want to just ask him a question? Yes. Okay. Please. Do you have any questions on how we're going to proceed? No. Okay. Thank you. All right, can ask one more question. No, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you talked about the Parkland, Florida incident, and I don't know if you've seen the report that came out of Parkland, Florida about more money uh, for the school safety and then also about armed teachers. And, yes. And are you aware, and do you support or not support, uh, the legislators are already looking in, I don't know where they're in Tallahassee, Tallahassee uh, that, uh, that they're looking at arming teachers statewide. Well, I'm I am aware of it. Uh, I'm aware that they can go ahead and do that. I personally believe that while that's fine, I don't have any problem, more guns means less crime. And I don't have any problem with the idea that they would be arming a certain number of teachers. That's fine. But I think the real security is in people not knowing who is armed. And that's something we can do for free. And it's something which, in my opinion, provides the best security to all of our students and staff. Thank you. Um, 
Thank you very much. Thank Thanks, Chairman. Do you like? Rock TV.